I'm Haley Weinstein and I was a student on the 2019 Eagle Week Dominican trip. Michelle Walker. Zulos is a school a lot like Fort Bend Christian Academy was when it was first started. It's a school that's geared for pre-K up through 12th grade and it's one of the only private Christian schools in the area at all. And at the schools we would hang, uh, we would hang out and play with the um, either the younger school kids or even the older school kids. So we got to make a bunch of different relationships with so many people. It's not a very big school. There are probably only maybe 20 kids per grade. And a lot of the kids who go there are on scholarship. They could not afford to go to school without sponsorship. One of my favorite moments was when one of my kids that I hung out with the whole time, I have so many pictures with her, um, that was like just meeting her, just seeing the smile on her face every day. Like whenever she saw me, she would run up to me and she would jump into my arms. And that was just like, that was so heartwarming. And, um, and that was probably my favorite experience out of the whole entire trip. I think that night where we went and ate dinner with the family was truly the most hard hitting one. The second year that I went there, um, I asked if I could go to the same family's house again. And it was when I saw the girl on campus, I recognized her immediately. I called her name, I went over, I was all ready to hug her and she had no idea who I was. Um, and it was sort of this, you know, it hurt my ego definitely a little bit um, because she made such a huge impact on me. But it had been a year, she was only four or five years old, right? So um, obviously for her, that was a huge span of time that had passed. And I'm sure she'd had several other people go to her house and go to dinner since then. So I, the fact that she didn't remember me sort of made me, like I said, it, it hurt my ego a little bit, but then I realized she's not supposed to remember me. Like that wasn't the point. She left the mark on me, not necessarily the other way around. We got the luxury of staying at a nice home and um, in the house, it was it was like a really great bonding experience for all of the students on the trip and even the um, the adults who led it. And so we spent because we we weren't at the house that much, but at nights we would do um, devotions, uh, which would last for like an hour, and we would just uh, go around and we even would sing and we would just talk about God and like our day and how um, and how like God was working in our lives and the children's lives on the trip. So we have um, usually, the last couple of years, we've had a mix of primarily sophomores and juniors, maybe a couple of seniors who've gone on the trip and the, the students who go don't necessarily sign up for the trip knowing that they're gonna go with their friends. There are always some kids who do that, who sign up and think I'm gonna go with my girlfriend or guy friend and we're gonna have a great time, but there are other kids who just want to go to the place. Um, I think the coolest thing about the mission trips is that we get kids who don't know each other at all before they came. I mean, they might know your name because it's FBCA is a small school, but they don't really know them well. And the way that we divide up into groups and on projects, you have to get to know people that you didn't necessarily plan to be friends with. And every year that I've gone, I hear a lot of kids talk about how they truly made a new friend on the trip and I think that's pretty exciting. It was such a welcoming environment and everyone just like everyone was being their selves and so I just like it was basically like you could just see everyone's like true self and you saw like um, you just you saw all that and it was just, it was very cool. The thing is there it's a community like everyone knows each other and everyone talks to each other everyone helps each other out and here not really, not so much. You could probably like name your really close friends, family, and but you don't know everyone in the city. Like you don't you don't know everyone in your school. The 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 doulos mentality. It's spelled D-O-U-L-O-U-S. Um, there you go. Um, D-O-U-L-O-S. And and so everything that they talk about is do love, doulos. So everything that they do in that school. Yes, it is a Christian school and that's a guiding principle for them, but it's more about doing what God has called us to do, which is love others. And so it's why it's such a good school for mission work, I think, because we're always taking kids trying to show them that as well.
Hi, my name is uh, Jordan Kelly, and I'm the director of the Dominican Republic documentary. In this film, I work to see the perspectives of uh, a student, Haley Weinstein, on the trip, and then one of the chaperones, Miss Walker. And I wanted to really see how uh, the trip affected them, how their relationships with the people on the trip changed, and how um, they impacted the people in Dominican. A lot of the film and B-roll on this trip was filmed by Emily Stubbs and Annie Matthews, who were recording throughout pretty much the whole entire trip. And um, I just I conducted the interviews and put all the uh, the film together to make the project happen.